the hates got even worse. Fans have been doing the he's on steroids chant at several different ballparks. <laughs> In Chicago, these chants he were so dancing, loud. He's doing no f***ing way out. What's going on, guys? It's Troy Dan here. And today, we've got the 2023 MLB season has made zero sense. This is from Baseball Doesn't Exist, the best baseball YouTuber on YouTube. Link in the description below. Make sure to sub 32 times. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Throughout the first month of the MLB season, we've seen no. hot dogs on the field, players Glazies. dancing on the field, fans on the field, players fighting fans off the field, and much, much more. Yo. Some of the poorest teams in baseball are the best teams in baseball, while some of the richest teams in baseball are in complete shambles. We've seen players' careers seemingly come to an end. We've seen a team that is so bad, their entire franchise is coming to an end, and we've seen Oakland? new rules that have confused okay. players, coaches, and fans, and have changed the game forever. But the strangest exactly. thing to happen in 2023 might have come in the first week of the season. Oh, I saw this. This is hilarious. For the first time <laughs> in over 50 years, all 30 girlfriend. teams played on opening Forget day, and the impact of the new rules were seen immediately. Pitchers are now only allowed to attempt a pickoff three times per plate appearance. So I, just, I get one positive video. What's a balk? I, st I can someone tell me what a freaking balk is? Is that even a real thing? I feel like someone's trolling. I, I don't know what a balk Third is. Third attempt fails. That runner advances. But that's for nine hoped, damn years. This would increase steals, and the very first base runner of 2023 happened to be one of the fastest. After two failed pickoffs, Ronald, Ronald Acuna, Acuna Jr. Jr. stole second easily, and this trend kept going. There were 21 steals on opening day, more than wow. any opening day in over 100 years. At the end of April, steals were up an insane 54%. Runs are up this year. Hits are up this year because of the shift restrictions, and the average length of game is down 27 minutes. That's good for baseball due to the right there. Clock. And with MLB reporting rises in attendance and viewership so far in 2023, I'm the new rule changes I'm have been deemed I'm by MLB this year than ever. an overwhelming success. But the most notable things that happened on opening day had nothing to do with the games. The first game in Los Angeles saw a fan run onto the field and began proposing to his girlfriend. According to her, she says she barely saw it because she went to the bathroom and was walking back to her seat when she saw this. Oh, you the man got dumbass! And according God, to him, he did it because, quote, you should always show your wives you love them. What? Always fight. Not even Treat your wife yet. You're and do asking her for marriage. For them. Don't get ahead of yourself. She'll take half your it. money. His fiance loved it and she said yes. The man wasn't even arrested and now they have a GoFundMe for the wedding. Why? This guy Why? Wasn't as Are you lucky. freaking? This happened during the opening series versus the Angels and Athletics, arguably two of the most disappointing teams in MLB over the past two seasons. The Angels legitimately have two of the greatest players of all time. Why does this team suck? And Can someone explain Otani, this. Yet haven't made the playoffs since 2014. Year after year, the team disappoints, and with Otani becoming a free agent at the end of this year, this is most likely their last chance to be competitive. Show high to Toronto. You heard it here first. Show high. Welcome to the Toronto Blue Jays. If not, Otani is unquestionably going somewhere else. Luckily, they started the season against the A's, undoubtedly the worst team in baseball, and things couldn't have gone any worse. They lost. And after the game, Anthony Rendon grabbed a fan by the collar, lunged at him, and was suspended ah! four games. Since then, these teams have gone in opposite directions. Otani is on pace to have a season that is somehow even better than the last two. Mike Trout really? is healthy and going off again, and their starting pitching seems to be stronger than it has in past years. As of now, they are comfortably in the playoffs. The A's, nice. on the other hand, are so bad, they legitimately won't even be a team anymore. That's After hilarious. shedding payroll and trading all their good players, news broke that they have agreed to buy land in Las Vegas, almost guaranteeing that they will be moving. Since then, A's fans have revolted. Against Seattle, they recorded oh an attendance Look at this that place. was lower than 11 out of 13 AAA games Dude, it's in Oakland. Day. Nobody wants to the go to the hood. The have shown up have Wait, gone shot to the protest, way there? chanting sell the team throughout the game. At least in Vegas, he's not a couple strippers. gets you a ticket for 37 games 
for only ninety nine dollars. Wow, that's less than three dollars. Bro, I'm about to go to Oakland again. The Blue Jays and Phillies have tried a different strategy to Blue get Z's. fans into the stadium, and it ended with hundreds of hot dogs being thrown on the field. They both oh brought God. back Dollar Dog Night in 2023 and were both complete chaos and ah. a massive success. The Blue Jays had Joey Chestnut throw out the first pitch, which inspired fans <laughs> to eat an insane 51,000 hot dogs. Holy boys, that's a lot of Approximately 1.7 hot dogs per fan. That broke a Blue Jays record, but is nothing compared to what happened in Philly. They have a rich history of Dollar Dog Night. The notorious incident of the teenage fan running on the field and getting tased, that was on Dollar Dog Night. What? A fan was arrested and sentenced to prison Bombing for throwing up girl? on an 11-year-old. On what? Dollar what? Dog Night. And last you, year, you a man even claimed Dollar Dog Night saved his life. After setting his own record by eating eight dogs, the next day, he woke up with a massive stomach ache. After the pain didn't go away, he went to the doctor and found out he had cancer. He started treatment right away, and since they caught it early enough, less than a year later, he is cancer-free because Dollar Dog Night Yo! made him go to the hospital. Shout out to the Glizzies, dude! Year, Suck it back, Glizzies! Good for your level. health! The Phillies had their Let's first one on April tonight. 11th. They had an attendance of over 43,000 people. The stadium only holds 42,000 people. The lines for hot dogs were extremely long, and they ate an insane 74 plus Jeez. thousand hot dogs. What? Towards the oh end God. of the game, get a fan wieners? stood up and told everyone he was going for his hot dog record, but ran out of hot dogs. So fans responded by throwing hot dogs at him. Then <laughs> the entire stadium started throwing hot dogs. This was oh chaos, but the Phillies still scheduled two more dollar dog nights. The second one sold out again and beat the previous record, selling over 80,000 hot dogs, and once again ended with dogs being thrown on the field. Of course and the it third did. Dollar Dog Night was even crazier. They broke the Dollar Dog Night attendance record with 44 plus thousand people, broke the hot dog eating record with 88 plus thousand hot dogs, so and invented glisses. the first ever Dollar Dog Wave, where oh the my entire God. stadium Bro, did what? the wave I heard while throwing their hot dogs in the air. Dollar Dog Night was a success, but the start of the Philly season wasn't. They started the year losing their first basement for the season, and with Bryce Harper expected to miss most of the season with Tommy John, there was reason to be worried. They got off to an extremely slow start, falling into fourth place while having one of the highest payrolls in the league. <laughs> Luckily team. for them, turns out Bryce Harper isn't human. He pulled off one of the most miraculous recoveries in baseball history, which he's done his whole career. His rookie year, he got pissed at himself, slammed his bat, and hurt his eye. He was steroids. Steroids. Bleeding steroids. from steroids. his face, had to get 11 whoa, stitches whoa, whoa, whoa. and stayed in the game. In 2013, he, he ran full speed into a wall. Oh Despite my God! Trying to Bryce. stay in the game, the Nats made him come out. He played two days later. In 2017, he strained his calf on this play. Players are expected to miss nine weeks with this injury. Harper came back in six. He's and on the Conor McGregor, boys. He got hit in the face with a 97 mile That's per hour fastball. That's my biggest fear. That's why I don't baseball. He played four days later. In 2022, he tore his UCL and needed Tommy John surgery. He continued to play like with the hurt elbow, went off, and led the Phillies to the World Series. Steroids. He got Tommy John after the season ended, and the Phillies announced he would miss at least half the year. But it's May 15th, and Bryce Harper is playing. The average <laughs> position player misses 11 months with Tommy John He's surgery. He's got nuclear pace. Bryce Harper missed five months. The Jeez. fastest recovery for Tommy John in MLB history. And, and in fact, Bryce him? Harper healed from Tommy John faster than athletic starters could win a game. Yes, in the five-month oh, span, it took Bryce Harper to heal. Athletic starters set an MLB record by not winning a game in their first 33 games. The A's are in last place in war, FIP, ERA, WHIP, run differential, he lost three strikeouts, three in a row. opponent batting average, gave up more runs than anyone, gave up more home runs than anyone, gave up more hits than anyone, walked the most batters, and have hit more batters than anyone else. Unsurprisingly, they also have the most losses in baseball. Oh Their God. broadcaster, Glenn Kuyper, is indefinitely suspended after he mispronounced a word and accidentally said a racial slur live on the air. 
the Mets broadcast had to switch booths when they were in Oakland because there's a possum that literally lives in the booth it's it has Oakley. for years because that's how much their stadium is falling apart. Over the past few years, there have been multiple possums on the field, <laughs> seagulls on the field. A stadium worker reportedly found dead mice in the soda machine, and there are reportedly <laughs> over 100 feral cats living on the property. Aww. The Mets broadcast was planning to do the broadcast with the possum in the booth, like every other team does, but <laughs> refused because it pooped and it smelled that bad. It pooped they in moved its mouth? to a new booth where there was a massive pole blocking the view of the game. As embarrassing Hilarious. as this was for the A's, Hilarious, the actual game boys. was worse. Their pitchers walked 17 batters in a nine-inning game. Look at the that, most Sean. walks given up in a nine-inning game since 1948. Unsurprisingly, the A's are dead last in payroll. What is more surprising is that the three other poorest teams in the league happen to be three of the best How, so far. 60 One of these million teams is, is last the place? Pittsburgh Pirates. 60 million? And after million? this happened, it seemed like they were going to suck again. In the second week of the season, their star shortstop O'Neill Cruz had an awkward slide and got injured. The White Sox catcher screamed at him while he was on the ground. The benches cleared while O'Neill Cruz was on the ground, writhing in pain. He'll miss most of the season, but somehow the Pirates kept well, winning, again, despite Bryce Harper being projected died. to have the third worst record in the league, had the third worst record in the league last year, and their only offseason signing was Andrew McCutcheon, who's way past his prime. At the time of this recording, they're still in first place. That may not last, but two of the other poorest teams in baseball seem legit. The Orioles have sucked for years and are finally good again. They would be in first if it wasn't for the Rays, who despite having the third lowest payroll in baseball, tied an MLB record by going undefeated in their first <coughs> <13 coughs> Jays beat them. At the end of April, they led the league in at least 20 categories. The Yankees are paying Aaron Judge and Garrett Cole only $2 million less than the entire Rays roster million. combined. Holy the Mets smokes, are paying kids. two pitchers Gee, a combined $86 million. Don't be a doctor. Season. The Rays What's the are point? paying their entire pitching staff, which is 14 pitchers, 22 million. Their entire pitching staff is about four times cheaper than Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander, yet somehow they have been by far the best pitching staff in the league so far. These three teams have a combined payroll the of 215 million. That's less than five individual teams. Out 345 of those five teams, million? Only one of them leads their division right now. While some of their richest teams are having beefs inside the clubhouse, coaches calling out players publicly, players getting suspended for cheating, baseball's poorest teams are hitting bombs and doing beer bong celebrations in the dugout after each one. What? This what? is one of many dugout celebrations, you a can... trend that has exploded in 2023. You can drink beer in baseball so crazy, on the team? MLB actually banned it. Really? But before we get to that, a quick word from today's sponsor. Well, okay, Everybody well, you can actually drink. Imagine doing that like any other sport. Imagine doing that basketball. LeBron James drunk out of his mind from shots of whiskey on the bed. Pretend to turn on a Only baseball. For a double, the dugout spits water out of their mouths for a sprinkler. A few teams have had dugout celebrations like this for the past few years, but in 2023, it's gone to another level. The Angels hey. have a Kabuto, a that samurai racist? helmet that, that, that Shohei Otani bought. They okay, are almost mind. exact Just replicas checking, okay? of helmets real samurais used to wear, are made by 35 craftsmen in Japan, take five months to make, and cost around $2,500. The Pirates have a sword that was given to them by fans who go to almost every game dressed they like Pirates. The Mariners have a trident because they're the Mariners. The Nationals have a colonial wig because they're the we'll Nationals. Just get a jacket. The Twins we'll have just a get a jacket. outfit because they're in a state with a lot of lakes. And the Reds have we'll a just... Viking helmet because one player thought another player looked like a Viking, but now they all wear it. The Braves we'll just get a even had an wow, oversized that. hat. Which Blue started when a fan Come on, why we not get any Blue Jay love? AJ Minter. When Orlando Arcia hit a homer, it was placed on his head. And starting from that point, every player who hit a home run was seen wearing the hat. Until one day, it one of suddenly stopped. Turns out, the hat was banned. Because New Era has an exclusive deal with MLB that requires <laughs> all on-field hats to oh, be made by God. New Era. They what a complained. joke. 
and even though all these other hats aren't new era, the Braves hat was banned. So now the Braves have no home run celebration, which is sad because even the White Sox have a home run celebration. Yeah, hey. They have been one of the too? most disappointing teams in the league. Winning their division in 2021, they were deemed one of baseball's next big things, went into 2022 as heavy division favorites, and completely fell apart. Their manager was caught falling asleep in the dugout. In a different <laughs> game, 90, a fan bro. from the crowd yelled at him to put Adam Engel in as a pinch runner. Hey, Tony. And then, like, see, no, on the video, great. it looks like he oh, forgot to do it, <laughs> then did it because the that's fans awesome. told him to. The team was terrible, <laughs> but their manager left, and going oh, into Lord. this year, they still had high expectations. They've been even worse. They went from having a 30% chance to make the playoffs to having a 4% chance in a month. They lost oh. 10 games in a row, and in the middle of this, their star player, Luis Robert, hit this ball should have been safe by a mile, but was out because he didn't run hard. He said he was tired and injured from running the day before. Forgot what his bench speed. coach's name was and got benched. Ozzie Guillen even said he would strip a piece of clothing for every consecutive win the White Sox had. So if they keep winning, you'll take off a piece of your clothing. Yes. Ew. I can strip, you got some $1 bill? I can strip for oh, you no, for $1 They bill. lost the next day. And in one of the worst losses ever, they had the bases loaded in the 10th in a tie game. Hansel Alberto got hit by a pitch. This should have won them the game, but he swung at the pitch that oh, hit him. No. He ended up getting out, and the I White Sox ended up losing. I do that all the time. I don't know what it but feels like, brother. this isn't as bad as the Cardinals. They came into the year as heavy favorites to win the division. Nope, but in nope. the first week of the season, Tyler O'Neill was thrown out at home. Replay shows he may not have hustled. Their manager called him out in public directly to the media. Okay, Tyler O'Neill heard this and responded that, by saying he works his ass off and was decharacterized by his manager. He was also benched. And this might have made things even worse. In fact, their pitchers are so bad, they had to bench their catcher. To many, that makes zero sense. But according to a rumor, Cardinals pitchers don't like the way Wilson Contreras calls games. The Cardinals say that he will no longer be the catcher, basically because he's not calling the pitches they want. So a player, the Cardinals paid $87 million this offseason wow. to be their catcher wow. for five more years? A few months later, is no longer good enough to be the catcher. Their manager may be close to getting this fired, the and the ben Cardinals Simmons as of now pretty, uh, are in last place. Mudane. But Wilson Contreras has had a great season offensively, and actually, after this beef, may have ended this legend's career. In 2020, the Diamondbacks signed Madison Bumgarner to a five-year, $85 million contract, making him a franchise player for a rebuilding team. He's been terrible. No the doubt. Diamondbacks, on the other hand, have gone from a last place team to being a young, exciting team in the playoff picture. Bumgarner, who was supposed to be their ace, went into the fourth game of the season with a 7.9 ERA, getting even worse after giving up three runs in the first three innings. He then faced Wilson Contreras, who fouled this pitch off and got pissed he didn't hit it far. Bumgarner got pissed that Contreras got pissed and told him, quote, shut the f up, pussy. Whoa, whoa. And Contreras responded by telling him to, hey, he said it too. Stop yeah. being a what? He ended a up walking and flipping his bat as high as he could. <laughs> then went on to <laughs> hit a double flip. off Bumgarner, who went on to give up four more runs oh. and left the game with an ERA over 10. And the very next you get day, for being a man even though the Madison. Diamondbacks have to pay him thirty-six million more dollars, they Dude, cut that guy him looks from like a dehydrated roster, cocaine. Seemingly ending what was an amazing career. Ironically, the day Bumgarner was cut was the same day Fernando Tatis Jr. Oh, no. returned. These players could not be any more different. Tatis became baseball's most beloved star for dancing, flipping his bat, and hitting at an historic pace. Then became one of baseball's most hated players when he tested positive 
for steroids. I don't hate him. This season, Tatis has returned it. after steal, Eddie Guerrero. Game suspension, and it is clear there is a massive target on his back. During his rehab assignment in the minors, he hit an insane oh, I heard about this. seven homers. Did he just in destroy eight all the teams these in the minors? Homers were posted on social media, where a pitcher who gave up one of these homers responded by calling Tatis a cheater, prompting Tatis's mom to call out the pitcher, saying that he just wanted a minute of fame. <laughs> Since coming to the majors, the hates got even worse. Fans have been doing the he's on steroids chant at several different ballparks. <laughs> In Chicago, these chants he were so loud, Tatis no literally way, dude. started this dancing is not real life. in the outfield He's on while Josie they doing the Joe But Tatis seems Boy, to I've be just everything. as good without steroids. After he he was struggling, <laughs> he went to Mexico, where the Padres played the Giants. Tatis went off. And so did oh everybody my else. According to Logan Webb, going to Mexico was a nightmare because 75% of the Giants roster, quote, got the <laughs> This didn't affect the batters because the game was played 7,349 feet above sea level. That is 2,000 feet higher than Coors Field with fences that are significantly shorter, meaning that this was one of the easiest games to hit a home run oh. in Major League history. Oh, wow. These two balls were hit at the same launch angle and nearly identical exit velocities, but the one that was hit in Mexico huh. went over 100 feet further. I didn't Ten realize Mexico had that elevation. Players hit a home run in this game. There were 11 in total. Both teams had two back-to-back -to -back homers each. And these homers combined for over 4,858 feet in distance, the third most ever recorded. The Giants got swept in what Jock Peterson says, quote, was the hardest trip he's ever done in the big leagues. And one can only hope that their shits go away soon. I mean, whoa, Snake. I'm gonna click. God damn it. Big sex. Baseball is crazy, guys. I want the Jays to win this season. It's the, the, the hardest division, okay? But I'm, I believe the Jays can get it done. Vladdy's back. We just need some pitching. And Shohei Otani, if you're watching, which you might be, come to Toronto. I'll give you a glizzy. Guys, if you got a video you'd like me to watch or react to, you can tweet me at Troyden under the hashtag TroydenReacts. Thank you for watching, and kids, don't juice.